So we're on board here today with a, the latest Stella water maker, the 160 litre per hour with a semi-automatic charcoal filter back flush option as well with Dave Tanner. Dave, please give us a description and advice on how to initiate our system here today. Sure, really simple. First thing to do is to remember to switch off the automatic flush. So that's been that's... isolated and shows red. Yep, then simply bring in the boost pump. Confirm that we've got water flow, which is just pressing the, the bleeder button here. We can see we've got water coming out, so we know that we've got a bleed system. Once we're comfortable with that, that we've got water traveling through the system, simply bring in the high pressure pump. This guy's going, pressure's wound right off. We simply just bring in the pressure at this point. In this instance, in the water that we're running in, we know that we're gonna be running at reasonably low pressure to make water, wind in the pressure. And with a 160 litre an hour water maker, run the pressure up until the flow is showing on the top of the float at approximately three litres a minute. We'll just clear a bit of air. And typically we've got the, uh, our blue valve here is sent to our discharge product to the tank because we know this system has just been running with clean water. Uh, our test option or the valve should be isolated first, so we're building product into a test bucket, correct? Correct, yes. And there we are, we're making water. And note, because we're sitting in low salinity at the moment, we're sitting at low pressure, normal 35,000 parts per million of salt, we'd be sitting at a pressure needle at about 820 psi. And the maximum litre per minute ratio, we should say? Three litres a minute. Three litres a minute, fantastic. And to, to switch it off after making water, that process in reverse, winding off the pressure, all the way out. And you were mentioning earlier the, to our customer to be familiar with the sounds of these pumps. Uh, yeah. They will hold a fairly uniform tone sure. and sure. Also obviously when starving for water or uh, in dirty water. Tell me more about that please. So, so you'll get used to the noise of the pump. When the pump starts to make a more pitched um, tone, it's starting to struggle for water flow, which means that the filters are blocking. At that point you would change the filters. You'll recognise that in time when you're using it over, you know, a period of anywhere from 20 to 200 hours of use, depending on the water you're making. The rule is always make good water in clean water. So, we've wound off the pressure. We're going to switch off the high pressure pump now. Then switch off the, the feed pump or boost pump. System shut down, and then we're going to start the automatic flush cycle. System, system is hot flushing now. You can hear the house fresh water pump kicking in. That'll run for three minutes and run clean water across the, the equipment and then sit in a timer for the next seven days. The equipment, mainly the membranes, free of biofouling, you know, bacterial stuff, funguses, that sort of stuff that can grow in there if you leave salt water in there. So it's maintaining the light. The membranes should give in a well maintained boat in excess of eight to 10,000 hours of use which is not insignificant. Um, so, you know, that's it, Dean. Fantastic. All right, for more information, check out uh, Stella's website. Thank you so much.